Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we are talking about San Jose State tight end Josh Oliver in terms of his analytics profile. Uh, this episode also is in due part to Patreon subscriber Bill Carroll. Uh, Bill Carroll and I have been colleagues for a while and uh, I'm very excited to do this profile for him because this is one of the players that he requested. Again, a reminder to all current watchers of my videos and subscribers that if you are a Patreon subscriber, um, your video requests get priority over other video requests. Um, on top of that, you will receive the 2019 NFL Draft Analytics Guide for free this year as well for being a Patreon subscriber. Um, so be sure to <clears throat> become one today because again you get lots of benefits and one benefit is I'll definitely dedicate a video here and there um, to the people that suggest players and player requests and, and basically giving you reasons as to why but with all that stuff out of the way if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do all terms and definitions will be in the description so let's get to his profile so first off in terms of his production profile he had 81.67 market share production score uh, compared to the all pro threshold of 70.27, Pro Bowl threshold of 25.75, and starter threshold of 7.68, pretty much hits above all those thresholds. And when you look at the averages at the position in terms of his production, he pretty much is in that Pro Bowl range uh, to starter range in terms of his overall production. So Oliver has a great production profile, but athleticism is where he somewhat falls short. He had a 54.68 explosive lower body strength score, 81.68 speed score, and a 47.75 flexibility score. The only area that he has issues is his flexibility testing because everything else is great. The explosion is there, the speed is there, but that flexibility testing doesn't hit all the athletic thresholds that you need to hit when it comes to the tight end position. Uh, so but he is close i mean that's the biggest thing that i like to reiterate with a lot of people is that when it comes to tight end data or any data for that matter and the thing and the things are really close like within 10 points five points whatever usually it's about 10 to 5 points um there is some leeway that maybe this is the new normal or this is the exception because if everything else is great because again when you look at a profile like josh oliver his production's great his explosion's great his speed's great it's just that flexibility testing. Most of the time, outliers become outliers when they have everything going for them, except for one aspect of, the, of, the, of their, of their um, data profile. So that's like all the positives to him. Uh, in terms of his overall data profile, I think there's a good chance he can become a long-term starter. And I think high quality outcomes may be less likely, but are definitely still almost there. I mean, again, very, very close. So he's on the fringes of becoming that type of player, but it's still a good profile. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Um, hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. Uh, and be sure to become a Patreon subscriber if you love my content, if you can't get enough of my content, if you just want more of it. Um, uh, more abundantly than it already is available right now become a patreon subscriber sign up today um, just a five dollar donation a month really goes to help this channel out uh, to put the type of content that I want on it in the future you know so I can dedicate more time to it so um, it's getting there it's getting there you know I have about 20 uh, 20 patreons around there right now um, so I'm getting pretty pretty close to my goal of about 275. So become a Patreon subscriber today. Again, all new Patreon subscribers from February, March, and April this year will receive the 2019 NFL Draft Analytics Guide for free. And as I also noted, player requests, um, questions, all that kind of stuff, I answer my Patreon subscribers first. So if you have questions about a prospect and you really want me to get to those as fast as possible, become a Patreon subscriber because when it comes to Patreons and patrons, you know, I... I, I look for those guys first. You know, I'm usually checking my Patreon page every day first before I even turn on my Twitter uh, because of just how much I appreciate all you guys and what you guys do. 
And with all that stuff out of the way, thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.